There we go. Hi, everybody. John Harris here with you. I am with from, from the cheap seats. And uh, we're using all the cheap seats tonight. Roger's here with us. Billy's here with us. All three of us, the first time this season, are going to join you and go over a pretty good week that all three of us had last week in different ways, but we did, we got there. So you would have made money watching us last week and our percentages all went up. Before we get started, I do want to mention our sponsor, Vineland Realty Corporation in uh, Vineland, New Jersey, believe it or not, 634 East Landis Avenue, their phone number, 856-690-9482. Our folk, my friend Dennis uh, and his crew down there will help you with any residential or business property needs if you need it. We thank them for all of their help over the uh, last four or five years with everything that Public John has done. So uh, we thank Dennis and, and the crew. And uh, first thing he'll say is, okay, shut up. Let's get on with the picks. So I'm going to shut up with the real stuff and go on with the picks. Um, tell you where you got what we did last week. Bill, you were in just straight up picks seven and seven. But you actually did better. Uh, uh, with the odds, you were eight, five, and one. That's a pretty good week. Not uh, bad. I was nine and five. Uh, straight up games, eight, five, and one. I had a push. Um, and uh, let me see. Roger. Roger had a pretty good week, too. Worst fans, let me find it here. I had it. But then again, that would mean I was prepared and was is the key word there so i think you you, you sent me a message nine four and one against yes. the spread yes that's exactly what it was nice. spread nine four and one so roger had a good week too Every, we all did pretty well and uh cheers fellas yeah there you go so we'll get started and uh uh bill do you have an injury report or do we want to do this as we go through the games and just let us all if we know something, go through it. Yeah, to be honest with you, I really haven't been caught up. I've been busy. Uh, okay. There's a, there's a real quick thing. Uh, all the prayers and everything go out to the Florida residents. Uh, my my sister-in-law, actually, uh, she lives on the East Coast there, and she ended up going to Jacksonville because, they had the, because of the tornadoes. And, and when she went back home, her half her house was gone. So, uh, oh, man. Uh, yeah. My brother so. is in um, Fort Myers, and uh, – they got hit pretty direct, but mm. pretty fortunate and got just like his fence was taken away. He didn't really, it was a split rail fence. He's like, that's the worst thing that happened. Has a little flooding in his yard. Uh, but uh, it, it, other than that, they were fine. So uh, they were fortunate. And he says he does know some people just a street or two over their house. Yeah. You know, siding was blown off them and everything else. So, um, yeah, and if we know anybody that can help out and give to the Red Cross, the Red Cross is down there from the last hurricane with Helene, and they're obviously still down there to help with this one. So, Red Cross or your local local communities or churches, that seems to be a more direct way to get help out there, true, in my opinion. True, too, and they have the ability to contact people. So, uh, yeah, anybody that, can, that wants to help out and can, please contact those folks uh, either through websites or like Roger said, through churches and civic uh, offices, they'll all be able to help out. Yep. Um, so thanks Bill for putting that out there. Appreciate it. Yep. Um, Amen. You guys go. got this. So we'll try and cheer anybody up that's watching this anyway, <laughs> and uh, see if we can uh, <clears throat> go to week as last week and make you all a few bucks. Uh, what that did those uh, all those results, uh, Roger. As soon as I find yours, you are you got yourself over um, the fifty percent hurdle on the one side for the season, and at about fifty three percent now against the odds. Uh, all of us are doing better <laughs> picking the games uh, with the spread than we are <laughs> straight up. All of us. It's, uh, and I was gonna say, if anyone's following this seriously, um, I would pick uh, my spread more than my uh, my team to win. That's kind of my say. That's that's what we all should be saying right now. <laughs> pick the spread game just because we say somebody's gonna win. Don't listen to us on that route. <laughs> we yeah. win. No, it's just the spread. The other ones we're, we're uh, looking to make y'all some money. I mean, we'll mention it, but uh, basically, it's the money that we're that we do this for. And let's do face it, we're doing it for fun. But we're right there with Vegas every year. Bill and I, I think we've beaten them every year. Haven't we, Bill? 
I believe so, yeah. Last year was the closest, but we've beaten them every year. Uh, and wow. one year beat them pretty good. One year we really thumped them. Uh, but we Let's keep it going. Here, so usually it, it takes getting over 60, and we're all almost there. Um, so uh, I think, Roger, like I said, you're, you, you're climbing. I'm at like 58% against it. Billy is 55.9. He climbed up a bit. Yeah, I'm at 58.7. So we're all getting there, and it, it takes that first few weeks. The thing to tell you, Roger, is, and I don't know if I ever said it, is you probably do it similar to me. I use the, my eyes and know, you know, things I know and remember and can see. Billy is a little more analytical. I mean, he does use the eye test a little bit too, but he also uses numbers. He's big into uh, fantasy football too, so he knows numbers and stats and things. Uh, so he looks at those things and home dogs and, and things like that. So uh, Bill's a little more systematic when it comes to it. I watch the games and, and just listen to stuff and go, okay, that's how I, I'm, I'm the guy on the couch. You got the gut feeling there, John. Uh, yeah, well, when you got a gut <laughs> like mine, you might as well use it, baby. So, yeah. Out there. Uh, the, the way I like to look at it is uh, anytime I bet when I was younger, I would always lose because I went with, oh, this should be a no-brainer, no-brainer. Now I'm trying to play against – the general population and that seems to be more successful. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is because a lot of times the general population uh, you is going to be watch, wrong. I mean, Vegas watch, is there to win. Usually you can only watch a game or two a week unless you are, you know, a direct TV guy or you go to Buffalo Wild Wings and sit there and watch all the TVs at one shot. Uh, so yeah, when it comes down to only, you know, being at home and only watching a game or two a week, the rest of it is you're taking the word of, you know, experts, quote unquote, and uh, yeah. we've been known to be some experts. So, <laughs> so I got I got the red zone, which is like football on crack. Yeah, I don't know it if you've is. ever Bill done. Has that? I don't have it this year. Oh, yeah. so I'll put on the NFL uh, the game day live, which isn't quite as good as red zone as far as no. bring score no. to score, but they do go through games as they're on, and that's pretty good too. So, because uh, I'll do that because I have YouTube TV, so I'll do it multi view. I'll have that on. And at least one shot both games on at the same time. Red Zone on YouTube TV is only like seven ninety nine a month. Yeah, it's uh, not month. much. It's not much. No, it's yeah. worth it. Yeah. All right, let's roll through these bad boys. I want to watch some football and baseball. Yeah. Not that I don't like seeing you guys. And it's and it's better than sitting through a whole game with a bunch of flags being thrown over to you know that, uh, <laughs> that game over in London last week was was horrendous with the flag. Which, which game? The, the 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 one over in London there. The, the oh, oh there. that was terrible. Uh, yeah, Jets, that, that was, was an awful game to watch. Yeah, that was a tough one to watch. No matter who won, it was just every yeah. every between uh, that and the weather made footing bad. So guys were slipping and falling and stuff. Same thing happened with the Brazil game. Guys would be running down the field and just fall. Mm -hmm. I mean, the field was terrible. So uh, I wish yeah. they make sure the fields were better for the players when they're playing. And it's better for the fans if, you know, if the guys can just put it out of their mind and go play, you know. It's made for soccer, those fields. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole different turf shoe, and it's a whole different uh, sport and a whole different way of cutting and running and stuff. So. Yeah. It's a different football. Yeah. It's football. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's rock and roll, fellas. We already did make our picks, uh, and it is posted. Um uh, for this game that is on right now on Amazon Prime, if you have it, San Francisco and Seattle. The Niners are picked by three and a half. Uh, Billy took San Francisco to win and Seattle to cover. Uh, I took San Francisco across the board. And Roger took, I have here that you took San Francisco uh, and Seattle to cover or no 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 i changed uh so seattle across the board you took yes you did there it is right oh, there. so we're all different <laughs> so that's what i was saying all three of us were different oh, okay and that's yeah. what makes us great being different makes this us great cool. yeah it's cool it, that's first time i think i know that we, all three of us took it across the board so um uh the next one since that's already underway we're not going to yeah. spend a whole lot of time on it and it's three uh, nothing. Oh, it is three nothing niners right yeah yes sir yeah, and they're back on D already. So, and that's the result of a turnover. Uh, Niners picked off a, a Geno Smith pass deep in Niner territory from the three, 
and uh, drove it down far enough to get a, a field goal. So Seattle's got the ball back deep in their territory. And if we see something happen, we'll, we'll update you. One of us will, I'm sure. And uh, don't forget, and, this is Seattle. It's always hard to win there. Seattle. Well, it's fun in there. And Roger has his eye on the Cleveland baseball uh, playoff game. So let us know about that one. If, yep. He's there we go. Cleveland got guy. Them retro. Pre, uh, pre, pre PC um, merchandise here. There it is. <laughs> yeah. In the, tribe go. Billy's, Billy's the same way with the Redskins. My and, man. And I, and I slip into it too. We always say Redskins. It's like, uh, Washington, he almost got the Washington football team. I, I was okay with that. Yeah. I, it was I good because it was so Commander bad. Team. I hate the commander's name. I hate I it. I do too. <laughs> and I don't like, like the Guardians. I don't like the Guardian name oh, myself. Oh, I hate the Guardian's name too. I do. Mm-hmm. It almost sounds like the Washington Commodes. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just sucks, dude. Was that a tribe I didn't know about? Yeah, yeah, the Commode tribe. Yeah. <laughs> they were fierce. Yeah, they were fierce. Ah, they were for shit. <laughs> ah, they weren't great. They were never great, huh? They were never great, yeah. Uh, so we have Jacksonville and the Bears. That's in London Sunday morning. The Bears are picked by one and a half. Uh, I am taking the Bears across the board here. Jacksonville's defense is uh, um, still is probably still going to be in America while they're playing in London. They're awful. They're terrible. Uh, yeah, thirty first of the NFL. The Bears are seventh on defense. And uh, Caleb Williams finally showed uh, He's the real to show some stuff. he is. Yeah. Yep. And as he gets comfortable with that offense, I think the Bears could uh, they could win some games this year. What do you think, Bill? Um, I think I like Jacksonville. They're used to playing over there in London, so I'm watching. That's true. That is almost like a home game for Jacksonville. That's the one thing. there every yeah. year. So uh, what was the what was the uh, point spread on that? One and a half. Oh uh, yeah, I'll take Jacksonville uh, across Jackson- the board. Jacksonville across the board. Yes, sir. How about you, and Trevor Lawrence? Trevor Lawrence did look good last week, so that's uh, that's a positive there. Yeah, using head and shoulders now and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what are you taking, Roger? Um, I'm taking I'm taking the Bears across the board there, big time. I'm gonna ride it. Okay. All right. While you're there, Roger, what about Washington and Baltimore? That's the first Sunday afternoon game. Yeah, that's a tough uh, one. Baltimore I don't know, seven, picked by seven and a half. That's a seven high seems like a lot. That's what I was going to transition into here. Uh, I'll take the Ravens to win. I think they need a win, but yeah, Washington to cover. I think that offense is starting to get going. Any injuries there for Washington? Not that I saw. I no, went through the I don't know. Yeah, Nothing I, major. Yep. Uh, I did the same thing. I took Baltimore to win and Washington to cover. How about you, Bill? It's a you tough one for you, isn't it? Don't you like both? It's a, it's a tough one. And actually, you know what? Washington's got the best offensive line in the game. And that's – Yeah. And uh, and that definitely helps Jaden Daniels there. So, uh, he's, he's he's been throwing lasers and darts all over the place. So, uh, I'm not sold on Baltimore's offense besides Henry. I'm still not a, a Lamar Jackson guy. So, I'm going to take Washington an upset here. Okay. The, bonus, the points are a bonus for me. Yeah, the – yeah, that's true. Seven and a half. That's that's a pretty good spread anyway. So uh, that ought to be fun. Houston and New England. There's all kinds of news on both sides here. First off, Nico is out for Houston. He's Right now he's the league's leading receiver. Yep. I think he's going on IR. He is on IR, yeah. He is on IR, right? Yeah, he misses four, week, four games. So he's going to be out four weeks now uh, for Houston. But New England is starting their rookie, uh, Drake May, at quarterback. Um, New England, they, 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 what was it? They're, they're the old, the old <laughs> Chevy Chase line in Caddyshack. New England, they're not, they're not, they're not good. <laughs> no, they're not. They're awful. Uh, I think it's a mistake to play this quarterback, to be honest with you. I think they, they get a terrible offensive line in New England. I think he's, He's going to be lucky if he's not like got somebody from Houston in his face all day. The yeah, uh, I, mean, I, know, I know their season is over, but I mean, you got to have help for the kid. You know, you can't. Oh yeah, yeah. There. Oh, I'm if really he does, and if he's not successful, you know, I think it just hurts him. Well, that's the problem. If he's not successful behind this offensive line, it's you know, how can you say it's his fault? You know, um, the spread is Houston six and a half, and. 
even though Houston's not going to have their best receiver, I still think they're just going to clobber New England. And I, I took them across the board. Uh, I did too. How about you, Raj? I'm taking Houston, but I'll take New England to cover. So Houston, uh, they they did lose Tank Dell, but they, uh, sorry, they lost uh, they lost Nico, but Tank Dell's back. He had seven touchdowns last year. Had a great year. I think he's going to step right in there. Hasn't really mm-hmm. played much this year, but I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take the Patriots to cover. Six and a half okay. is a lot. Yeah, it and is Drake a high, thing, and it is at some big... point. At some point, you got to be thrown into the fire, and if the kid has it, we're yeah. going to see it. Yeah, it was got, and it there, there is in New England. So, yeah. Uh, Cleveland and Philadelphia. <laughs> I know. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I think Jalen Hurts is trying to catch uh, uh, Josh Allen for turnovers or something. I don't know. He's like a turnover machine. You know what? Yeah. He had one good year and they gave him all this one money. good year, paid him tons of money, and now he ha- he's had the one good year. That's it. Now he's just a touch to push. Yeah, to his point, yeah. that's it. If they but don't the get within with, the one yeah, yard line, they're done. The problem with this, he doesn't he doesn't read the D. He 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 latches on the first guy, and if if they're not open, and he's he, take, he, he's trying to yeah, take he, off or roll. Yeah, he can't, he can't read happen. the defense. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, he's and not out of five times it'll happen once, maybe twice, and then the third time he's going to turn it over. Mm-hmm. And I think it, it it works. It works when they're healthy, and they, it looks like they are going to be healthy. They have yeah. AJ Brown back. Yeah, they and are Devontae, getting their, they so. are getting the receivers back. That's big. And don't forget, Saquon is still one of the best guys in the oh, league. Saquon, you know, without yeah. him, they'd be done. Without him, yeah, I, Goddard, they'd be done. This is an all-cure game here because Cleveland is – I think they're just as bad as New England. So, I mean, it's, it's wow. a shame. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Uh, <laughs> it's a shame how bad they are, bad. though. Roger, I know you're a Cleveland fan. You've got to be leading the cheer to have, have – is Winston start Watson maybe become a cowboy at a massage parlor? Yeah. No, I want <laughs> Baker Mayfield back. Give me yeah. Baker Mayfield back. Give Deshaun his massages and get him the hell out of here, man. Yeah, it's not him, yeah. good. I don't know it's about you guys, but Deshaun Watson just rubs me the wrong way. And I'll say, yeah. <laughs> you rub me the wrong way. All right. He it's thinks it. he's good because someone's massaged more than his ego, if you know what I'm uh, saying. I'm sorry, Roger. I didn't mean it, but uh, I it's, couldn't it's, help it. There are two puns. I got to just say, is Winston, is Winston starting or no? I don't think so. I think they're still going Watson. They're still, yeah, they're still going Watson. They'll definitely lose just, this one. Yeah, so, yeah they they still own fifty million dollars a year. What another hundred million over the next two years? <laughs> yeah, it's all yeah, guaranteed they're... too. His salary's guaranteed. He's in the same boat as uh, Russell Wilson. The, the best thing they're that could help collect, him, no matter what happens. The best thing that could help him for Cleveland that they find some dirt on him and they could cut him. So right, I mean. and and that might happen. Well, no, now it might not because there's been a settlement between that last. Uh, accuser so now that there's a settlement it's all really going to depend on the nfl if they reinvestigate but now that's too bad bad. you have he doesn't talk to the nfl (laughs) they're screwed yeah you have to believe you have to believe the women i don't always say that but in this situation i believe it 100 percent. i mean when there's over 20 chances are even if 50 percent of them yeah, are you get 50 percent yeah. i mean that's, 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 about, that's about his completion percentage figures. i was gonna say it's a completion percentage that's a completion oh, percentage here this year oh, but you're right roger if they could figure out a way to dump him without paying him against the cap that for cleveland would be a happy that ending. would be nice and then can we get a couple first rounders back well oh, that'd be a happy ending you know what i'm saying <laughs> john you're on fire tonight oh uh, I'm gonna take, wow I'm, I'm taking the Eagles, but I'll take the Browns to cover. I take the Browns to cover here. Uh, nine and a half is just a little too much to leave out there. Eagles yeah. to win, Browns to cover for me. Billy, who I mean, you got? I can tell you as as a lifelong Eagles fan, they always, even if they have good years, they always play down to their competition, even if they win. I took the yeah. same thing. Philly to win, Cleveland to cover. And I'm not an Eagle fan, but I – I think that the offensive line for Cleveland is just terrible. It is bad. So I'm I'm taking the Eagles across the board. Woo! Yeah, that's a well, good I point. It's the first time that that's ever happened that yep. I against yep. the Eagles. Mark it down. Cover and you <laughs> took them. Mark that baby down. That's like wow. Uh, Arizona and Green Bay. The pa- in Green Bay, the Packers are picked by five. I we have took, defenses on that, Dan. I'm asking my producer here to give me the yeah, defenses. Got a, yeah, Roger cheats. He's got a producer. Billy and I actually have to reach it. 
<laughs> yeah, this one here. Dude, Roger's, <laughs> Roger's smart. His producer's reading for it. Uh, here's yeah. the numbers there, uh, boss. <laughs> this should be a good game, actually. Uh, I think so. I think so. I took Green Bay to win, but Arizona to cover. I think they're going to. Yeah, that's, that's what oh. I have also. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm going to do that across the board there. Packers are 21st on defense. Arizona's 25, so not much of a difference there. Um, yeah. We'll see. Uh, Kyler's kind of been sporadic this year. I thought he'd be one of the top top quarterbacks. Uh, he's up and down. Yeah, mm -hmm. he has been. And he's Harrison's not getting last year, but you're right. One game, he's good. Next game, he's and good. Harrison's yeah. not getting. A, they're not throwing him the ball enough. I think he's no, no. like three, three, one three, game, three catches a game, and he, he had to complain. And then they threw the ball to him the next week, and now they've stopped again. Yeah, and the yeah. game that they threw the ball to him, they won. Mm -hmm. So, uh. Indy and Tennessee, uh, we were having a chat about this one on the side, I think, before you were able to get on, Bill, that uh, Tennessee's picked by three. <laughs> I, I, I uh, see, that's the eye test. I just haven't seen anything from Tennessee yeah. that shows me anything. Something's stinking around here. Yeah, something. something. Now, is Jonathan Taylor still out for Indy? He's, he's questionable. Yeah. Uh, Richardson is. Supposedly going to play, which okay. I think I, I like Flacco better. I was going to say, if I was them, I'd tell Richardson, take another week, rest up. And if I Flacco think we uh, a real quarterback in there. Will, Will Levy's not playing for Tennessee. It's uh, he's not playing, so I saw that he did practice. Levis isn't playing, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, the last I heard, yeah, I think they're giving uh, Mason Rudolph, is it? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. The start. Oh, well, that might actually be an improvement. <laughs> That'd be. Levis is still young. I mean, I, I like him probably oh, no, more than I'm I should. Saying he's not going to develop, but right now he doesn't have a whole lot of weapons either. So he might develop in five years on another team. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he's going to take the Sam Darnold route or the Geno Smith route. He yeah, for a while, and then finally he'll get catch on with somebody that. John, you said they have no weapons. They have um, they have they have quite a few guys. They have uh, Hopkins, and they have um, Alvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley, and then the run game, um, who's coming up? Oh, Tony Pollard and um, Spears. Tyron Spears. Spears, yeah. I like, like Spears. Spears yeah, moving like forward. Pollard. And Tennessee. Hopkins hasn't Ten played well at all this year compared to recent years. That's the thing. Uh, True. I think they were hoping that Ridley would open things up for Hopkins a little bit, but that hasn't really developed. And that comes to quarterback play, but they added, they do have the number one defense. Tennessee is the number one defense, and uh, the Colts are the number 32 defense. So I got to take Tennessee. I'm taking yeah. it across the board. You, you could, you could run, you could run all over Indy, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah. I, I was just re reading on Will Levy. He, he practiced in full. So, I mean, they, they didn't say he's starting, but I guess uh, I don't that's know. That's what I saw. That's what I saw earlier today. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, who do you want, Bill? But, I think. You're an indie guy. I'm, you know, I'm an indie guy. I'm going to take the Colts. Okay. Yes. My producer likes that. He's an Indiana boy, too. <laughs> there you go. So, Roger, you took Tennessee? Roger I took take Tennessee. Tennessee across the board, and I took Indy across the board. And you took – okay. Yeah. Uh, Tampa Bay, New Orleans. This is one I can't figure. We know Derek Carr's out, right? Mm -hmm. They're starting Spencer Rattler. <laughs> <laughs> I like the name. So it was just went from practice squad last week, you know, third string and active to starter this week. Uh and uh first time start. They're picking Tampa Bay by only three. I I'm I'm jumping all over that. I'm I'm I might even break my no betting rule and get a hold of uh DraftKings and say, let me drop a couple coins on this one. Because I like Tampa Bay and Bay yeah, no doubt. That. New Orleans. Uh, I, I like Tampa across the board. <laughs> uh, there's there's one philosophy I believe in, and that's uh, divisional games. You go with the home team. Uh, I know it's a rookie, but the Saints at home, especially in the South there, the NFC South, I'm going to take the yeah. Saints across the board. I'm going to mix Woo! it up here, um, okay. and maybe Rattler is the guy. You know, well, that part's yeah. true. He's such an unknown, you don't know. It's true. Uh, and they do have Albert Kamara. Yeah. Uh, they do have, uh, who is it, Shakir? I think yeah, uh, no, uh, Rashid, um, uh, Rashid, oh, Rashid. I know who we're thinking of, Rashid. Yeah, 
Saeed. And then uh, Kendra Miller, that's their rookie from last year running back. He's uh, supposed to be active this week. I, I have uh, some high expectations for him. I think what hurts them is Taysom Hill because he's in such a, yeah. a, 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 such a special guy. So, uh, And I think he may still be out. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know he ties up a minimum of one person just when he's on the field. They man, he's a beast. Man, he's, he can do everything. Yeah. He's like a Swiss Army knife, man. He, yep. really he is. He's a gadget. That's what I was going to say. I mean, he could wildcat him. He could quarterback. He could receive. He could run. And he's, the, he's the whole deal. So, um, All right. So I got Roger down taking New Orleans across the board. And Bill and I both are taking Tampa Bay across the board. Uh. Chargers and Denver. In Denver, the Charger, uh, yeah, the Chargers are picked by three. Well, uh, this one half. is the most confusing one to be. Uh, Denver just it's played great half. last week. Yeah, this one's surprising. What's up with that spread at home? Denver I, I, played well. They've been played well. I know. They played well. I mean, I guess they're thinking the Chargers are getting better too, but I, I don't see it yet. I mean, I think they're getting a little better on defense, but the offense, uh, I mean, you still got Herbert, but uh uh-oh, the Niners are moving. This might be a touchdown. It is. Touchdown, San Francisco. Uh, Bomb, it was a pass. Mostly run and catch was Debo. Yep. Jesus. Uh, You're going against him. And fantasy. I thought that for fantasy. Bill, Bill just, Bill just groaned. I think uh, nah, I'm I not happy about it either. Just fell off Bill painfully. It's a long one too, Bill. Yeah, of course, uh, it it's going to be about seventy some yards. He threw him inside yards. his thirty. Yeah, about man. fifteen yards, and Debo broke it. So, John, you said defenses there. The defenses are good. Denver's third. Chargers right. are fifth in yards allowed. So that's pretty balanced. But yeah. in Denver. In Denver, give me Denver, man. I'll take Denver. Yeah, I I did that. I took Denver across the board. I huh? don't get me wrong. I think it'll be close, yeah. but it's only a two and a half point spread. That is two good coaches. That could be a very good game. I'm yeah. actually interested in watching that. Yeah, you might be yeah. looking at the future of that division right there with that game. Yeah, I'm going to take Denver across the board. Okay, Mahomes is what 28 years old. As long as he's around. Uh, Oh yeah, Kansas City's never going to be out of it, but I think yeah. see this division really be a lot more competitive. Uh, yeah. Speaking of the West being competitive, let's talk about the opposite right here. Is Pittsburgh is going to Vegas? <laughs> Vegas is changing their quarterback. Minshew is benched. O'Connell is the Aiden O'Connell is the uh, new starter. Um. And Vegas has just looked awful. Devontae Adams is still out, probably. Until um, he won't play another snap with the Raiders. Well, I don't think, no, he'll, I don't think he'll ever. Yeah, it's just a matter of yeah. does he go to the Jets? Does he go to uh, Buffalo? Uh, everybody's like, or, oh, he or Pittsburgh. Kansas City, but they're never going to send him to Kansas City in the division. That's never going to happen. No, he's not going to KC. Uh, possibly, uh, he could possibly go on to Pittsburgh. Yeah, I've heard that, too. I've heard that, too. Um so, but yeah, he's never going to play for the, for the Raiders again. So, my producer uh, says, "Don't, uh, don't, don't count the Saints out." Oh, for oh, for going there, yeah. It's a matter yeah. of how healthy is Derek Carr because they were college. That's why he went to Vegas in the first. Oh, game. that's right. Mm-hmm. So, if he doesn't go to the Jets, yeah, New Orleans could be the number two choice for him. Uh, Pittsburgh is picked by three in Vegas. I took the Steelers across the board. I think Vegas is a train wreck right now. Yeah, I totally agree. Jay Watt is going to introduce himself to Mr. O'Connell pretty early. <laughs> and it wouldn't surprise me if Minshew's in there because O'Connell gets hurt on a sack or something. I mean, it's just ugly. Yeah. So for no other reason than uh, I hate Pittsburgh being a Browns fan, I'm going to go with the Raiders. <laughs> uh, so it's a long trip out west. Those are never, never too easy. Uh, Raiders still have a good defense if you have Max Crosby out there, and I think he's healthy, right? I know he got dinged yeah, up. But yeah, he I think played he last week. Yeah, yeah, he played last week and was in the backfield all day. So, yeah, I'll go against the storm surge here. I, I learned that word this week. Um, I'll take the Raiders. Yeah, you didn't have a choice. It was all over the place. Hey, yeah. Bill, what about you, buddy? Is uh, I guess Fields is he still quarterback? Fields is still your number one, but. 
But uh, and he's been playing better. I mean, he's been playing, playing better, well. But but uh, I'm thinking pretty soon they're going to make a change, only because. I just think Mike Tomlin's going to make the change. He proclaimed. What are the Steelers? They're four and one now, right? I think three and two. Three and two. Oh, okay. I have to look it up, but it might be three and two. They have they haven't named the starting quarterback yet this week. So oh, it says oh really? Well, they, cool. Russell went full first time he was full participant this week, yeah. but he was with the number two uh, unit. He was with the second unit, but that don't mean anything. He could elevate. Yeah. A heartbeat and he was named the starter before the season before he got hurt so he might tomlin is one of them guys that unless it's drastic you don't lose your job due to injury he's old school man could you could you bring up the baseball scores please yeah let's see what we got we're gonna move on john yeah. we're gonna uh move. what who'd you take bill uh i took the steelers across the board okay uh next one atlanta and carolina it's in carolina Atlanta's picked by six. What do we got? Uh, uh, I'm going to take the – oh, sorry, Bill. Go ahead. No, I, no, I was go ahead. He had the baseball score, right? What was it? A baseball yeah. score, 4-3, uh, bottom of the ninth here. 4-3 Cleveland. Okay. Yes, sir. Bottom of the ninth, okay. Yeah, Fry hit a two-run homer. I guess it was in the sixth inning, was it? Seventh. Seventh, seventh inning. inning. So they gave him the lead in the seventh, yeah. Sweet. Uh, all right, so we've got uh, and the Yankees are one nothing over yeah. KC in the first, still in the first there, yeah, yeah. it's just getting started, yeah, and actually in the fourth, the fourth, I fourth, okay, say first was a Pretty that's good. when I was watching it about a half hour ago. I hate the freaking um, <laughs> uh, Atlanta and uh, Carolina, like we said, Atlanta by six in Carolina. Yeah, this won't even be close. Uh, Falcons, uh, I think this is where you'll see B. John Robinson finally get on track here. And uh, He is questionable, but I think he's going to play. I think. Uh, yeah, at least in limited practice. But I think Atlanta wins big here. All right. Oh, here are the good two. Where's this game at? I don't have that written down here. Carolina. It's at Carolina. Yeah. I take the Falcons to win as well, but I'm going to go Carolina for the, uh, for the six. I'll take them to I cover. Did, I did, too. I thought six was – Especially with Andy Dalton at quarterback, if it was still uh, Young, I would have I would have been like no, but I don't think it would have been six if Young was quarterback either. So, uh, and that's another divisional game, and they tend to play they tend to play fairly close. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens. But I did the same thing as Roger: Atlanta to win, Carolina to cover. Uh, so you could have a good week, Bill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or it could be really bad. It could be really good or really <laughs> shitty. Yeah. Uh, Detroit at Dallas. Detroit is picked by three. Yes, Detroit's picked by three. Um, uh, I know. I think Parsons is either out or doubtful. I'm not sure for. Uh, of course, that's we a know. big one. Yeah. Um, they're hobbled yeah. up a little bit. Dallas uh, is running. Cook is still out. But the guy last week who replaced him played pretty well, actually. Dallas has no run game, and they're one-dimensional right now. So, I yeah. don't have to back to hurt them. Uh, I, I like Detroit across the board here. Yeah, I do, too. Especially since Detroit can just cut their defensive linemen loose and just, here we come. Mm -hmm. I took Detroit across the board for that one. I do like I do like Detroit late in the season. I think they, uh, they'll they probably contend with the 49ers for the NFC. But Cowboys at home – and Dak, uh, Dak's been one of the best quarterbacks. It's hard to say, but yeah, he's been playing pretty well. He's had no choice. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's and like, oh, uh, Dowell, like back. you said, John Dowell, the running back, did have a fairly good week last week. I have him in fantasy, so I yeah, hope that Dowell continues. did. Dowell looked pretty good. I I saw some of that game. And yeah, he was tough to stop, especially when he was running up the middle. Uh, when he was running into the line, uh, you know, not so good on the outside. They tried a couple screens to him. And, a couple of uh, under rounds or not under rounds, the sweeps. He was getting tackled on them, but when he penetrated the line, he was he was getting wow. five, six yeah. years of crack. So, so my producer here is telling me Dallas has been 0 2 at home, but 3 0 on the road, which is really not typical. Uh, they're fairly good there. So I think they turned that around. Sometimes Dallas's stadium is very similar to the LA stadium. They see so many people. That it's not always, at least crowd-wise, a home advantage. You can hear 
people cheering for the other team in Dallas as well sometimes. Yeah, but in Dallas, hey, like you, they're, Katie. they're diehards there. Oh uh, yeah, the Dallas fans are, but sometimes other teams get their get a few thousand people in there, and uh, but uh, yeah, you're right. I, I I don't see Dallas having that big a home field advantage most of the time. That's me personally. I've just never noticed it. Uh, and that point. goes with your producer's uh, uh, numbers there, really. 0-2 oh, at home this year. He disagrees with you. He says that's not true. He's not <laughs> okay. supposed to be a – yeah, Dan, don't uh, – But then don't again, I'm an the Eagles top. fan, so we don't like Dallas so, anyway. So it looks, yeah. like think... it looks like it's going to be 0-3 then. Yeah, 0-3. Oh, yeah, I told him don't <laughs> provoke the talent. He's yeah, not it's going to be 0-3 and, and your producer's <laughs> going, that fat bastard was luckily right again. He was well, hey, if, if, uh, if he's right, we bring him on next week. Well, I'll give him a we'll give him a one minute segment. Yeah, we'll give him we'll give him some quick thing there. We'll give him a quick. I, will. Going. I just I, will. Yeah, I picked one game. Ah-ha! You know, and <laughs> I was a hundred percent last week. <laughs> so. We'll call it the Sean Watson minute. There it is. There it is. Tick 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 tick. Yeah, <laughs> better than the Boomer's fastest three minutes. The fastest one minute in sports. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what he that's what he's known for. That's actually his nickname. Yeah, one well, minute, Dan. Long as the girls don't call him one minute man, yeah. right. you don't want that. Um, Cincinnati and the Giants that is Sunday night football. Why I have no idea how you couldn't get out of that NBC. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's in New Jersey, in the Meadowlands. The spread is Cincinnati by three and a half. Uh, I don't know if the Giants have a great running game. Is uh, Neighbors back? Is he uh, no, I don't he believe. didn't practice. He didn't practice? He's probably still out then. Yeah, which but is surprising. For, practice uh, by Thursday, usually you're out. Yeah, it didn't seem that major, but it looks like they're definitely taking precautions. He's, what, 21 years old? He's the future yeah, of that wanna, organization. Yeah. Especially right now, you you don't need him to get you to the Super Bowl because they're not getting there. Yeah, There's no sense yeah. risking a – Danny Dimes, Danny Dimes has looking been looking good the last couple of games. Uh, Absolutely, and yeah. they beat the 49ers last week. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Ty, speaking of Ty the Niners, Niners they kicked the Seattle. field goal. They're up thirteen nothing now. Yeah, they beat Tyron Seattle. He had over hundred yards last week. So yeah, so but, I'm taking Cincinnati there, and um, I'm going to have them cover Cincinnati. It's a good team, uh, yeah, not right. a great defense, but they're coming on. Yeah, yeah, it's that time for Cincinnati to kind of kick it in. This is, this is when and they, if they had last week's season. game. If they just played conservative, they, you know, they would have won it. Yeah. Settle for a 50 yard field goal. You got to try to move the ball down the field. Yeah, move it. And just... Hey, I'm wearing the hat. You got to matriculate the ball down the field, boys. Right. <laughs> Lenny, you got to matriculate it, Lenny. Come on, move that ball. <laughs> uh, uh, I took Cincinnati across the board as well. How about you, Bill? Yep, all, yep, all three of us are the same. All right. There we go. And last but not least, Monday Night Football. This could be either a huge surprise or the beginning of the actual train wreck for New York, for the Jets. Buffalo is going to the Meadowlands to play the Jets. Buffalo is picked only, surprisingly, by two and a half. The Jets are going to have a new head coach because Robert Sala was – you know, uh, as, literally, and I'm not joking, he was literally escorted off the property by security. I'm like, yeah. wow. <laughs> and you know, and the thing is, if they win this game, they're in first. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's the weird I, part. I think Aaron Rodgers had a big play in this. And even though he denies it. I, oh, I, he denies it. But, but it did come out that he did meet with Woody Johnson the day before the announcement was made. So, you know. There was at least some thought about what Aaron's opinion was. Uh, yeah, and this it's kind of a shocking. Uh, you you said it's shocking because of how how early it is in the season and it's not the buy. Salah was such a huge hire. He was one yeah. of the biggest hires he that was. year. He was. He came in there. He was hot off of what San Francisco. San Francisco mm. is a defensive coordinator, and uh, yeah. and Jets defense is pretty good. It's very good. I mean, they I think have he's building no it. offense. But that's yeah. – see, I don't think you can blame Sala for all that. I really don't. I mean, the line's not as good as they thought it would be, and I think they're still a weapon short. 
uh, whether yeah. Devontae Adams would be the answer. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, I think they were 20 and 36, but they also look who they had a quarterback. In those years. Right. The first few years, you had what? Zach Wilson? Zach Wilson, Darnold. No, Darnold. I mean, well, I always felt bad for Darnold. I never thought that. That poor guy like had like five offensive coordinators in four years, no matter where mm -hmm. he was. It was like, you know, like because take a look, he's got the right one and he's lighting it up in Minnesota. So um yeah. I, you know, that's a game that's the only game I didn't have pre-picked yet. Yeah. And Buffalo hasn't been playing great either. So no. that's why No, that's the weird part. They haven't played great. So um is there uh is it Shakur? Is he back yet? Is he coming Shakir, back? I, I think he's playing. I think uh, Cook is uh, as questionable. The last Cook was questionable. I saw that. So if he doesn't play, that's not, that's not good. Yeah, that hurts the running game. You might see Josh Allen run the ball more, which is always dangerous for two reasons. One, the fumble, the turnover. And two, if he gets hurt. Yeah, he didn't practice today. So I, I, I would probably, Cook, Cook, I would think so I, I would probably say he wouldn't be playing. They probably start with the uh, the rookie Ray Davis. Oh, yeah, that's that's not. That's and they don't have the receivers. I mean, they have the, no. the receivers. No, the weapons that's aren't there. Tight end, they have, but yeah, yeah. Well, they got not living Kincaid, up to it, right? Yeah, good tight end, but King Kincaid a tight end, and yeah, but that's not that's not enough. No. Um, for that reason, I'm picking the Jets. I'm taking the Jets at home. I think they have to win. They have to prove. Uh, that they belong there. If they lose this, the Jets are pretty much done. Uh, yo, absolutely. Yeah, I think so. Even though they'd only be one game out, it's still it, – this is the game with your new head coach, you know, your new interim head coach to prove that, you know, we we have a shot. And, and the, the, and the new, new head coaches team. always come in there with a, with a head of steam. Head coaches yeah. tend on – new head yeah, coaches I mean, tend to do well. Let's take a look at what happened in Vegas last year with Antonio Pierce. Yeah. And Pierce was great, yeah, coming in. He was great. I mean, you have lots of cases of other coaches coming in and doing the job, at least temporarily. But And Aaron Rodgers uh, was limited today. But uh, I don't know. I think age is catching up to him. Oh, it is. I mean, he's 40. He's, just, uh... he's not moving around. Plus, he's coming off the Achilles. He had a decent game. He looked decent last week but for a while, but. I don't he know. had a great game that Monday night game. He was yeah, uh the Monday night game was good. Yeah. But all right, we're gonna wrap it up there, boys. Yeah, he's playing Buffalo. Football. Buffalo's defense isn't great though. So no, and Buffalo, like like uh, Billy said, they have not looked good the last couple games. They got off to a hot start, but ugh. yeah. No, I'm gonna take Buffalo. I was gonna lean it. I was leaning the Jets, but I think I'm gonna take Buffalo. You're gonna take Buffalo? Yeah. <laughs> It's only two and a half. Oh man! If it was just something tells me, J E T S Jets. <laughs> yeah, um, I agree. No, I don't know why it just does. You know me, Bill. I'm not a big, I'm not a big Aaron Rodgers fan. Well, I'm it's not, a, no, it's a home dog. I usually take the home dog. But I know it is a home dog. Aaron Rodgers just ooh, doesn't. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Um. And it's only two and a half. Otherwise, I'd say Buffalo to win, Jets to cover. But I mean, two and a half. If it's under three, I don't like to. You know. Yeah. I usually like to I'll take the Jets there. I'll be happy with that. Uh, how do we like these playoff series? Uh, I'm gonna take. Yeah, I know, you know, it's my instinct, so I'm gonna take the Jets across the board. <coughs> nice, uh, good pick, John. Yeah, but I will tell you that. Remember, I think I told you, Roger, I was going to change. What game was it? The Carolina game. I had them to cover, and I said something tells me to change that game. But no, I'm going to stick with what I got, and I should have changed it in a heartbeat. I was like, "Son of a bitch, they got spanked." <laughs> but uh, hey, you want to cover the MLB here? Who do you guys? Who like? we got? Guys who's, like who's doing what now? The Phillies are like gone. They're gone. Uh, they're gone. Yeah, they really can't be wrong. They're gone. Uh, they're gone. Uh, Yankees. Yankees. Royals. What? Still one zero. Is I haven't. Looked still at one nothing in the top of the fifth. Is it? Yeah. Ugh. Royals usually win close, well pitched games, low scoring yeah. games. They figure out a way to win two to one, three to two, <laughs> things like that. 
Um, it's a top. Kansas City has a guy on top of the fifth. Yeah. Uh, I think if KC wins tonight, they could they they will pull it off. I think if they win tonight, I, yeah, they pull I think it off. tonight's the big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and well, I think Cleveland held on really, tonight. If, if the Royals win tonight, they go back to Yankee Stadium for Game Five. So yeah, yeah. I'm an Oriole fan. I'll never root for the Yankees. I don't care who they're playing. I can't. I'm a Red Sox fan. I can't root for the Yankees. To me, the best series in baseball ever was when the Red Sox came down from being 0-3 down and took out the Yankees. I mean, the World Series was like, oh, yeah, that's great. They won the World Series, too. But when they took the Yankees out after being down 0-3, and I was living in Boston at the time, that place was nuts. Nothing got done in, in the world in Boston at all, That the rest of that series. When they won game one, uh, their first game, it was like, that's it. And mm -hmm. everybody had faith right then. Said, you know what? Kevin Millar was right. Don't let us win a game because then we got Schilling going and then we got Pedro going. And you don't know what's going to anything can happen in game seven. Mm -hmm. So and he hit it right on the head, man. It was like it was so much fun to be there then. But uh I I, I can't ever root for the Yankees. Yeah, Detroit just scored in the bottom of ninth. That's five four can we go back to that Detroit game? But, it, but it's Dance. two outs. It's two outs. Two outs. Bottom yeah, of the it's nine. Two out in the bottom nice of the one. nine. Yeah. Dan. No producer. Producer. Yes. <laughs> game. Um. All right. Uh, so my producer had one thing to chime in here. He he likes the Giants yeah. to cover. He likes the Giants to cover that Cincinnati game. That's his only pick tonight. Um. So we'll put bonus pick. Dan the man <laughs> bonus pick. He's Maybe to cover Cincinnati to win. Cincinnati to win. We'll see. And then one last Cincinnati, game I want to Cincinnati to win. Giants to cover. Giants to cover. I tell I'm you starting to get a party in here, so I'll cut it out. My sound system here, uh, my sound quality is getting a lot worse. But the last game I want to bring up is the college football game, Ohio State Oregon. That's two and three. I'm a yeah. big Ohio State fan, big college football fan. Uh, that's in Oregon. What do you guys got there? In Oregon, I. I think Ohio State's going to pull it out. Um, I think they have a little better defense than Oregon. And Billy, I, you have an opinion? I don't follow. Yeah, I don't. I, I, don't, I don't follow much. I'll take, I'll take Oregon just to be against you guys. How's that? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> there you go. So that spread was at five, which kind of had me concerned. I'd be like, well, Oregon should cover five. They're both good offenses, a lot we'll of athletes. Some, but right? it's down to three now. So I, I like Ohio State really? at three. That's yeah, pretty, that's a good drop. Of course, it is college, but that's that usually means somebody's hurt, and not playing. <laughs> I don't know what caused that spin. In college, what somebody got suspended for the Vegas quarterback uh, didn't get his NIL money, so he quit. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like that. Well, at Ohio State, we make sure they get their money. We make <laughs> yeah. sure they're paid. Well, you <laughs> bought a boys. Kansas, you bought a Kansas State quarterback. Oh yeah, those boys get paid well. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, Cleveland just won in the bottom of the ninth. They got to ground out the second base. There you so, go. Let's so, go. I've been here. But I tell you, I like five years. Like Cleveland and the Padres. I think that'd be a good World Series. I think. Heck yeah. Padres I think we could beat the Padres. Good. I think uh, that'd be a good series. So, what is it, tied now, the series? Yeah. Tied the only thing that's going to hurt is, is Scooble going to come back and pitch for Detroit? Because I tell you what, that kid's phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. If he pitches. I hope not. Uh, yeah. Sure. So now it'll go back to Cleveland, won't it? Yes, sir. Game five. Game five, and that's Woo. Saturday too. Uh, what's it? Thursday? Yeah, it'll be Saturday. Yeah, the bullpen it'll came through. Day and Saturday will be the day. Dodger. Uh, when is tonight? The Dodgers Padres game. Oh no, yeah, it's going to it's going to be Scooble Scooble against Boyd on Saturday. Uh, uh, Woo. Mm. Hopefully that goes down to the bullpen because that's where his Cleveland strengths at. Man, I'll tell you, 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 you're amazed how much lower these scores are in baseball when you get to the postseason. When you get to the good, yeah. the good pitching, you really only need a three man staff. If you have four, you're good. But short series, you really only need three guys. Uh, so you're going to see the same really good three guys over and over. Uh, it, it's amazing the difference the games are. When you get to the postseason, and of course every game is, ah, 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 you know, every, yeah, uh, nail biters. Yeah. What do you think of all this Dodger Padre series stuff? 
<laughs> Man. It's great. I think it's great. <laughs> it's, it, it, yeah. I was all gung ho at first because I don't like Manny Machado. <laughs> Billy probably does because he was an Oriole. Uh, yeah. I'm like, this guy's a cocky bastard and he's, you know, he's a, you know. So, you know, it's just how he presents himself, you know. Um, and everybody was all ran. He threw a ball at Dave Roberts in the dugout. And then they showed the video and he just kind of did a little toss at like in between innings when they got done warming up. He just tossed it toward the dugout. It was like, I don't even like the guy. And I'm like, that's what you people are all bitching about. Yeah. Dave, Rob, Dave Roberts well, is like, oh, it was unsettling. What, yeah. The ball rolled barely to the dugout. <laughs> Come on. A little league kid with a wrong hand could have thrown it harder. Come on. It's, it's good for baseball. I think it's nice oh, to, to see these guys talk. stuff, but yeah, I mean, at least do something realistic. Yeah. It shows they care. I, I like it. I like a little commotion. Oh, no, a little passion's good. A little rivalry, that's all good. But I'm just like, let's be realistic. Everybody was like blowing it all up, and I'm looking at them going, that? that? <laughs> There's got to be something else you guys can hang your hat on than that. That's nothing, please. Uh, you know, Tatis rounding the bases and going about two miles an hour and turning his back and doing all the dancing. That's what would piss me off. Now yeah. you're hot dogging it. You're trying to show us up. I would you're rather your my head on something like that than tossing a little baby ball. He, 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 yeah. he, John, he, I think you're. Me. John, on. I think you're showing your age. Oh yeah, because in my day. <laughs> oh yeah, there was none of that. That's Back you get paid for that. Bob yeah, Gibson yeah. would throw twelve innings of 130 pitches, and he would be a guy in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh. Uh, uh, you would throw at their mother at that point fact, back in the Louis day. Keon, who, God rest his soul, RIP, he passed away this week, Hall of Fame pitcher for the Red Sox. I think for Cleveland at one point as well. He was a great pitcher, uh, Hall of Famer. Uh, he threw one game, uh, a complete 14-inning playoff game, where he threw like 140 pitches. I'm like, you don't see that anymore at all. I mean, you're never wow. going to see those guys do that again. Sandy Koufax, Don Drysdale, Jim Bunning. I mean, you had, uh, you know, Whitey Ford for the Yankees. I never saw Whitey Ford pitch. He did pop before. Me. <laughs> well, even Roy Halladay not too long ago was throwing innings. Uh, Madison Bumgarner. Games. Yeah. Madison Bumgarner, I think, was the last guy I saw throw throw pitches. Yeah, you don't see complete games. They get to seven, you're like, wow, that's great. It was like, oh. a great seven-inning outing for Joe Blow. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> what about the last two innings when you lost the game because you brought in uh, <laughs> Susie yeah. Spring for the South Pole and gave up a two-run homer or some shit? <laughs> so, um, NBA's getting ready to start up, fellas. That's going to be interesting. The new Utah hockey team. Won their first game the other night. The old Phoenix Coyotes moved to Utah, and they what are they called? The Utah Hockey Club. Wow, really? They went the Washington route. They went Utah Hockey Club. That's it. Uh, wow, they're playing in like year, six thousand seat arena. I think that's man. all a money maker. They they'll have a name next year probably, so they can sell. Oh yeah. Oh so. yeah. Well, they'll sell <laughs> a year's worth of these jerseys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll come up with a name in a couple of years that'll make them some more. Uh, but they got to do something because they're only in a 6,000 seat arena, I think, till next year or year after. Oh, wow. Built. So it'll well, they always they sound like a out, cool house because <laughs> you know, one block of Salt Lake City is always going to take up the whole thing. <laughs> they shouldn't have no problem selling out. No, no. <laughs> but they did win. They looked pretty impressive the other night. So, yeah. First game ever, and they beat the Blackhawks. So that ain't no, you know, that's no joke. Very are nice. The, are they the one with the female, uh, female uh, coach, assistant coach? I don't know. That's a good question. Bill. I think I it was either you. I don't know if it was Utah or somebody else. I can't remember. I I can't remember. Um, I know. I know. Uh, and then of course you had the WNBA. They're getting ready to start the finals up, right? The Lynx against uh, the Liberty. Mm -hmm. Oh right. yeah. And I'm looking, I, I tell you what, Lynx are good, but I think this might be the Liberty's year. I think they're on a mission. Mm -hmm. I really do. Sabrina, right. she's she can she can take over a game. 
She was Caitlin Clark before Caitlin Clark. Right. Yeah. What was it? Two years ago. I mean, she almost beat uh, Steph Curry at the All Star Three Point Contest. Oh, is that that the Romanian they girl? Her, they went one for one. Yeah, she can hit threes, and I mean, male. Threes. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I like and her. She uh, threes. Yeah, she's from Romania. Her family's Romanian originally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I like her, and we like we like Caitlin Clark, but that's uh. Oh yeah, I've never watched an NBA game actually. Oh, WNBA awesome. game. I, I I've watched a couple. It, it's actually if you're an old school basketball guy, it's closer to old school basketball. A lot more passing. Yeah, gun. Uh, I mean, they'll come off sets and they'll shoot threes, but well, that's because they can't jump. Three, that's what I like. It's because they can't jump and fly, and yeah, yeah you don't see too many dunks. And it's not, yeah. but you do see some give and go and some uh, um, pick and roll stuff. And I'm like, this is starting to look like old school basketball. It's yeah. kind of fun to watch. Mm. I told you I was uh, I was thinking of uh, identifying as a woman and trying out for the WNBA. Remember that, John? Yes, I do remember that. Yeah, but I can't afford that pay cut, so can't I never did it. Cut. That's right. Can't afford the pay cut. WNBA, man. Hmm. It's like what a seven hundred. Yeah, you can't get an endorsement if you can't get Caitlin Clark endorsement deals. You're screwed. <laughs> no, I got six kids. I think that's more than the entire league put together. I know. Thank God for tax deductions, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Those girls, uh, they don't have too many kids. Uh, uh yeah. Well. Uh, all right, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> There's like about five it. things going through my head right now. All right, John, get me out of here before I do my get me yeah, out of here before I go. do my whole set. Yep, I know, right? <laughs> was that Dan the man? No, that's Brandon. Oh, was he, it Brandon? Great What's set up? the other night. I that was yeah, awesome. He was there the other night. He's here for the party, and then this guy, that's the producer. What's up, right there. What's up, guys? All right, well, that's not what this is about. Let's all get right. To that's right, Roger. They're cracking the show. What's going on with that? They are. They're here for the party. And uh, uh -oh. yeah. All I'm right. Well, it. have a good party. We're going to get out of here. Uh, you too. Thank you guys so you guys much. have something else to go. We're going to get out. <laughs> We're just going to say thank you. Thank you again to Vineland Realty Corporation, 634 East Landis Avenue in Vineland, New Jersey, 856-690-9482 is their phone number. If, you have a, if you're in South Jersey and you've got a, a, a property need, whether it's residential or business, Give them a call again. That's 856-690-9482. Uh, for Roger, for his producer, Dan the Man, uh, for Billy Smith and everybody watching, and for Dennis and all the crew at Violent Realty, thank you guys for tuning in. Enjoy the games this weekend. Enjoy the rest of the games tonight, uh, the game and your baseball games. And we will talk to you from the cheap seats again next week. Good night. God bless. Good night.